This is the Iowa Weather Report for Saturday, October 19th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we still have a trough digging in across the upper Midwest and the western Great Lakes. Some energy moving along with it. That's going to bring a little bit of cloudiness to the state and a little bit of rain activity to the state. There could be a little bit of rain snow mix early in the day, but it'll be all rain during the day. Highs will be upper 40s north and east to mid to upper 50s to low 60s south and west. A warm front comes through Sunday morning, and that's going to boost the temperatures into the 50s north to low to mid 60s south. A little bit of cloudiness in the north. That'll be with a little bit of a chance of rain. And another push of cold air comes in Sunday night into Monday, and that's going to drop the temperatures back into the 40s to lower 50s for highs on Monday. And that looks to be the case the rest of the week. As we move into Tuesday, you can see a little bit of energy moves through could create some rain or snow showers in the morning maybe again in the afternoon high pressure comes in through the dakotas that'll drop the temperatures at night into the upper 20s maybe mid 20s wednesday it looks to be another disturbance coming through from the dakotas into minnesota that'll come through wednesday night temperatures wednesday could be in the 40s north and east to mid 50s south and west but the cold air comes back here on thursday snow showers in the great lakes some clouds around here with a little bit of sunshine with temperatures in the mid 40s north and east to mid 50s south and west. And then as we move to Friday, temperatures will start to increase a little bit as the height levels start to come up. Temperatures around the upper 40s north and east to mid to upper 50s south and west as temperatures do begin to warm. And you can see even a week from today, we still have a northwesterly flow, but it's coming out of the northeastern or northern Pacific instead of the Arctic at this point. So that will tend to bump the temperatures up a skosh. It moves the height levels up. That'll bump the temperatures up into at least the 50s across the state, maybe low 60s in the west with any precipitation off in the Great Lakes and well to our south. In the extended period, though, it doesn't look much better it looks colder again some energy moving through the great lakes and the flow is coming out of the northwest territories and none of it province in canada that means it's going to get very cold this here is on the 30th we could see morning lows on the 30th and on halloween morning in the teens or 20s highs in the 30s snow showers off to our east but then it starts to warm up again here at the end of the forecast on november the 3rd we have some energy moving across minnesota Upper level feature moving just to the southwest of San Diego. Otherwise, it's fairly benign pattern with a lot of the cold air back up in Canada, but also much of the storminess is either near the U.S. Canadian border or in the desert south and west and nothing around here except some warmer temperatures. Looking at the satellite image from last evening, we had some low and mid-level clouds with the next system coming down from the northwest across the Dakotas, Minnesota, even across Iowa and down into Texas with a few showers and a little bit of thunder down in the Gulf Coast, elsewhere fairly quiet. Watch warning map looks very cold. This is from last evening. Frost and freeze advisories for ten middle Tennessee, most of Kansas, Oklahoma, the Texas Panhandle, southeastern Colorado, and New Mexico, so it's cold. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, showing any precipitation we'll get, it'll be very light, maybe a tenth of an inch or more, maybe two tenths, and that's not very much.